Hello my rebel friends. Today we're heading north on A1A. Uh, we're gonna stop by Fernandina Beach for breakfast. Uh, but the main point of the trip is to visit Fort Clinch in Fernandina. We're gonna have a tour of the fort and uh, um, tomorrow's President's Day, so it may be a little bit uh, back, but we'll do we'll make the best out of it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. See you later. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm um, here with Marlene. Uh, she's actually reading the instructions, the safety instructions, because I don't understand those, so she explained those to me. Uh, we are here at Fort Lynch in Fernandina Beach. Uh, this is state park, it's beautiful. I'm gonna find it around so you guys can see it. Let's walk right in. Oh my god, look at this. That's a drawbridge. So yes. Bridge is right here. We're going Jeez, in. Look at Very cool. It's cold. Colder. Yeah, it's a little bit colder in here. In the shade, of course. So it's actually a nice day today. Beautiful day. Let's see stars in a star shape. I really love how the cannons are outside in the rain. The flag? Flag is cool. Yeah, with the stars. I don't know what kind of flag is that. I know. Sure I thought it's, it was the American. But I mean, it's from the Revolutionary War at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just making sure. Yeah, for clinch. <laughs> Just making sure I said for clinch. <laughs> Hi guys, we're inside the quartermaster uh, building. Uh, here you can see uh, a lot of rounds. So all the ammo is stored here. Uh, different colors. And you have a like a kitchen. Yeah. Look uh, at the pots and pans. And oh yeah. It's actually pretty neat. Very, very, very neat. Let me see what else is over here. Okay, here's the desk and the probably the calendar in which they handle the schedule with the fireplace. It's actually pretty neat. So now we're gonna go inside one of the walls. Let's okay, see how like a connecting tunnel to tunnel. the other uh, other walls. So the walls are pretty thick of the fort. I mean, it's really thick. You'll see how long it takes to get there. It's all red brick. It's actually not. 
Probably about seven feet tall, maybe. Oh, that's, that's so cool. You got that little window. Oh, yeah. Let me see if we can pick through that. You see, we're on the other side of the wall with the cannons pointing outside. Let's walk over there. Maybe that had a purpose for them to shoot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's take the guns out. It's actually pretty neat, neat because um, the river on the other side is the St. John's River when he when he goes to the Atlantic Ocean. So, right. So this is very uh, a very strategic point to place the fort here. Now I'm going off memory, but I don't think this fort this fort ever saw battle for some reason. So that's why it's pretty intact. Was never attacked. Oh, that's cool. Oh, look at the stairs. Do you want to go all the way up? Oh, yeah. Let me, let me get into this little hole first. What are we? Oh, what's this? It's pretty dark. Oh, it's pretty dark. There's more lead. Let's go. Let's go up. Very narrow. Yes. Yeah, Carl's staircase. Good thing I lost weight. <laughs> Danger, stay of walls. There it is. That's the Atlantic Ocean right there. St. John, John's River comes over here. And actually on the other side of the river, I believe, is Georgia. Wow, everybody's fishing on the, <laughs> on the beach. I mean, it's a beautiful day after cold a couple of days. I mean, they see sun and they just want to be up. Well, that's a beautiful day today. This, this place, I think, is a must visit. Those cannons over there, maybe we can we can go take a, a quick shot, quick look at them, but they're huge. I think they use either horses or mules to move them around. Yes. Just to rotate them. Oh, the beach is over there. All the way over there. Oh, you put that cash in your breath, right? Well, here, uh, let's see if we can give you a quick uh, overview of recap, how the forest like recap. recap. This is the, the view as soon as we came out of that tunnel that you just saw, and we're back to where where they um, they they kept their ammunition. Um, I think that's where they slept. The barracks. There's an infirmary on the other side. Um, the bastion. There's bakeries. I'm guessing this is where they actually did almost everything. They they needed to like rest and prepare and then get ready for battle, but yeah. they never battled. <laughs> yeah, they pretty much lived here. So let, let, let's see if we can take a close up of the cannons. The cannons are pretty neat. It's kind of, you can see it's there. I think, based on what I remember, the, this force this force was built uh, around the Civil War time, but it was never attacked. Uh, here's a close up of the barrel. Of the cannons. You can see Marlene's. I mean, it's another, another fun fact. It apparently was only built for war, but not for safety. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. See, I learned something new from my wife. <laughs> Just a quick correction you know while we were talking at bombs ourselves we actually realized 
Um, but it's not the St. John's River, it's the St. Mary's River. Right? St. Mary's River, yeah, because uh, we were thinking about, okay, hold on, close to Georgia, it's going to be St. John's, it's St. Mary's. So St. Mary's River, this wraps it up for the tour of the fort. Uh, let me just give you a quick uh, peek of the ocean view. It's actually, it's actually a very nice beachfront property. So, it's very cool, very neat. Uh, we'll see you guys on the road. Yes, definitely visit. Check it out. Well, that wraps up the video for today. I hope you guys uh, liked it. Don't forget to uh, like this video and subscribe to the channel if you like this content. Have a good one.